Thrilling adventures on the Let's Defend platform. We are tagging today for February 25th, 2022, 11.34 a.m., SOC 165, possible SQL injection payload detected. Vent ID is 115, type is web attack. And let's see, we're dealing this time with web server 1002. And we've got the source and destination. Destination looks like that would be what will match to web server 1001, 172.16.17.18. Which looks to be the case. <clears throat> uh, let's see, SQL injection, and what they give us is a search with the Q. Percent twenty percent there's percent twenty two percent twenty or percent twenty one percent twenty yeah so or one equals one just encoded so I've got to take a look at the logs and we're filtering on the source address of the one six seven ninety nine one six nine seventeen we come back with six events, and they all look, well, they start off easily enough. Mozilla 5.0 for the user agent, starting with just the actual IP address. It's permitted, given a 200 with a response 3,547. And that looks like they do a search Q equals percent 27, which so tick. Looks like that generated a 500 with a 948 response. Another 948 response, where again, what they've got. So, tick. What was 20? Space. Oh. I guess it would be like single quote space or space single quote one. So they're trying SQL injection into it. So it's not a, it looks like that would be a positive detection for the rule that fired. Q1 tick space order space by space 3 minus and the 500s are internal application error so I mean at least it's not 200s <laughs> if we look at the endpoint no event time so nothing that would have spawned out uh, this is supposed to be when February 25th Oh, so we're going back a day. Nothing in here that matches anything of concern. Uh, terminal history. If I read that right, February 1st of 2022. CD web root. Docker compose. Docker, Docker get started, how to install SSL certs, SSL certificate installation guides, SSL certificate installation. So yeah, not anything here that's stands out. Though if it's web server, why is Outlook installed on it? Why is Microsoft Office installed?
Is somebody actually going through and checking their email? How much should be a web server? Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't think there's much of anything here that's worth anything out of these particular sections here. Um, let's go through, do our typical check. So it looks like it's a US IP address, it's DigitalOcean. It's marked as phishing slash malicious. Uh, VIP.pelf.ml, pelf.ml, jameslovestravel.com. Oh, this IP is carrying out an SSH attack using brute force. SSH brute force attack on September 11th, 2022, October 27th, October 2nd, October 1st. Okay, so at least with the virus total. Plenty of badness. Uh, Talos. It's expired off of block list. Historical brute force SSH honeypot. Yeah, so at least in this regard, though, March twenty second, twenty twenty three became scanning IPs. So what about for like 2022? Uh, not much of anything, at least up to December of 2021. Abuse, 0% confidence. Although plenty of different reports going back. About brute force and SSH. So yeah looks like this is something that just no it's bad so we don't see any sort of real success so let's go ahead and take it and we'll run through and create the case and we will answer the questions as they become understand why the alert was triggered in order to perform better analysis okay so yeah by the rule name which we looked with the logs that we were finding for sql injection we're finding various searches to try to generate or one equals one so if we do whole thing. Yeah, so we're doing or x equals x, or attempting to at least. So they're not necessarily doing one. Actually, let's do this. Because uh, I've got a few of these. So we go here. Actually, that one should be off. Well, screw it. That's not going to make that big of a difference. Or one. It's almost like they're just kind of screwing that up. Yeah, 
so it should be almost, yeah, bottom up. So they're trying it with a single tick, single tick, or single tick, one. So it's almost like they may be automated. I don't know, the, the timing, too. So, let's see, 25th at 11.33. Just replace this or one equals one. Yeah, given the time in between this, yeah, I don't think that any of this would have worked. But yeah, uh, SQL injection, I mean, it's close considering the fact that we're not actually looking at a, a one equals one as the alert tried to trigger off of but we do have or and one and likely enough Not the appropriate stuff in here. Or one equals one, which we are. Yeah. Or one equals one. With a bunch of other stuff attempted. So yeah, we've got attempted SQL injection. Looks like that one flagged off of the 20%. Yes, this is the one that's in the actual alert itself, which is the actual or one equals one. And it looks like other endeavors to try to encode or x equals x. One order by three. Yeah, I would say that we've... I, say we've confirmed that the rule is appropriate and it is external coming to internal it's digital digital ocean IP and apparently this is owned by let me figure out um, so whoever's name is on it so primary user is web admin so apparently the web admin owns this host which is fine. Thankfully, it looks like there's nothing on there that's an issue. Does it have last? Yeah, February 25th, 2022, 11.12 p.m. So well before this stuff kicked off. Examine the traffic. It does look like it's an attempt to exploit SQL injection, so we're going to say malicious. Uh, SQL injection. Uh, plan test. So let's go back to the email section. And again, we are looking for something to denote for February 25th, 2022. And we have nothing. The only thing we have in 2022. <sighs> Let's just go straight Jan 1. To the first quarter. No emails. So it does not look like it is part of anything planned. It is 
internet company network because it is web server is inside the company and DigitalOcean is what's attempting to make the connection. The attack does not appear to be successful because it generated 900 or response code of 500, so internal error, and the responses were all the same, 948. And then we are giving it, because all we've got is, again, so again, we're kind of light on artifacts, just have the attacker's IP. And because it does not look like it was successful, we are not going to go through and perform a Tier 2 escalation. led to a response of 500 each time with a response size of Which one gives it the most? If I want to go and do any of these, we're going to do and we are going to just grab that and then we'll grab the alien air one. So we've got two items in there. To denote. Oops. Is that main human graph? No, that's different. Ask human injection URL encoded. and copy and paste and we close it it is a true positive even though it did not kick off and we got the confetti so I'm assuming that means yes we got everything hit add to just no we put the requested URL into URL decoding and find the payload sent by the attacker after URL decoding it has been confirmed that this is SQL injection when we filtered by source address from the log management page, we saw other requests made. When the requests were examined, we saw them all were related to the SQL injection vulnerability. When the response size of all of the requests is examined, it is seen that they are all the same and the response status is 500. The SQL injection attack is unsuccessful as there will be different response sizes and 200 response status. It seems that the attack was not successful. Yep, again, same as the last one, a bit dry, but it conveys what it needs to. At the end of the day, that is kind of the important aspect. So, there we go. That has been SOC 165, possible SQL injection payload detected, event ID 115, for February 25th, 2022, 11.34 a.m. And with all that said, I will see everybody in the next video.